Well, if you've ever driven through Waterbury, you've probably seen that before, right? That cross there. This is a live look tonight at Waterbury's Holy Land. It's a well-known landmark, and now city officials, along with the community, are hoping to bring new life to that iconic landmark in the Brass City. Here's News 8's Jason Newton. It's a part of Waterbury's history. It's a tradition. And for the past several decades, Waterbury's Holy Land looked destined for the history books. The land surrounding the iconic cross that can be seen for miles had fallen into disrepair. Unfortunately, it had fallen into uh, some hard times. It had been inactive or uh, uh, almost abandoned for just about 30 years. The life is slowly coming back to the Holy Land site, though. Waterbury Mayor Neil O'Leary and a local businessman bought the property and began clear-cutting the area, chopping down overgrown trees and brush, and a new state-of-the-art illuminated cross was installed over a year ago. The iconic Bible-themed village settings remain, although many are weathered and broken from the neglect. It's a place in its heyday that attracted almost 40,000 visitors annually for many, many years. The new birth for Holy Land will start this 4th of July. As the city announced that Independence Day fireworks will launch from the hilltop, hoping to spark new interest in the neglected area that yet remains a staple on the Brass City skyline. There's going to be a tremendous uh, viewing opportunities for the residents of the city of Waterbury from all over the city. In Waterbury, Jason Newton, News 8.